Hey guys, my name is Logan and or Frost and welcome back to Fortnite. Um, we're gonna be covering the update, finally! Um, because of time constraints, we're gonna be covering it like Let It Die. We're just gonna be going through all this. I would highly suggest just putting this off to the background and listening it while you're jumping in or booting up Fortnite. Um, but the newest update is called Horde Bash, which is looking real promising. It, it very much seems like it's an outdoorsy steampunk if that makes any sense it's way way cool anyways yes it is patch 1.7 and let's get into it the horde bash update launches with a new game mode weapons heroes defenders and more october 5th long after this video has been out <laughs> challenging hordes and new modes introduced in the horde bash update i want to say horde base so much <laughs> anyways oh this is really cool introduces a new mission which utilizes a skill tree and progressive system and progressive fort system sorry okay so it doesn't really get into it now but basically uh, you're going to be okay. We'll get well I think it'll tell us later in the update, but I ever read through it a little bit All right, so there's all that horde bash save the world um challenge the horde um, Construct the forts enter the staging area and build your prototype horde fort um, Use your custom fort to challenge the horde adventures your fort carries over each new mission. Oh weird Okay so there's like this evolution to it. Okay, and it's like round based. All right. Gather wood, stone, metal, and traps for your base from the new horde mode uh, skill tree. Yeah, they said somewhere where I don't think you're able to gather resources. They're given to you at the start of every round. So you'll have a certain amount of like screws that can make a certain amount of traps and stuff like that. So it's limited. Um, so whoever's building, that could be something you could do, I guess, drop all the resources before the round starts for the constructor or whoever's the main builder in your group. Each zone includes three to five challenges, which increase in difficulty. Okay, so that means there's going to be like an N tier power level of 70, but the there's going to be like 30s and 20s and stuff like that. But the, the base mission is always going to last, I think, five rounds, was it? The base, I think it was five rounds. Okay, and each time you face a wave, there's a modifier introduced. Okay. Um, and that increased the difficulty of the foe, um, or you, I imagine. Um, certain waves throw a large number of a certain enemy type at you. Um, how many lobbers, sploders, or smashers can your fort handle? Earn skill points to unlock additional resources. Harvesting is disabled and challenged. Yeah, see, that's what I mean, harvesting. So you can no longer attain any loot um, via breaking down resources. Resources are guaranteed at the start of combat. Um, at the end of each successful combat wave. Oh wait, at the start of combat? So the minute you start it is the minute you get resources. So it's gonna be a rush to build whilst your allies are protecting you. So yeah, you're hopefully gonna divvy up the work resources to craft weapons, place traps, and all that other fun stuff. We went over that. All right, every member of the team can bring one defender. Scavenger tickets. Players can receive scavenger tickets and horde skill points upon successful completion of a horde challenge. Cool. You can complete you can complete up to six um you can you can complete up to six hordes uh every twenty four hours. Six times every 20, what does that mean? Challenges? It's complete up six challenges every 24 hours? Huh, <laughs> that's kind of stupid. I don't like how it's limited like that. What if I got a lot of time one day and not another lot of time the other day? <laughs> what was that about? The Scavenger Llama um, holds the new heroes and the nine new weapons, which I cannot wait to show you guys. It's right down low. We get 25 new quests that allow you to progress through the challenges and the hordes events. Quests include rewards that range from tickets to legendary items. Yeah, I heard a lot of people saying they were able to get the heroes relatively easy this time around, like really easy. Not the, not the legendary equivalents, of course, but like the, the, uh, the purples. The 70th power zone, you will receive a legendary hero there's a spider on my wall. There's a spider on my wall that needs to die. Sweet Jesus. Okay, we're back. Yeah, if you complete the 70 tier zone, you get uh, good legendary heroes. Go team. Okay, and I'm never getting that. Ugh. 20 scavenger quest rewards the with tickets to look at that can get you heroes. Cool. Um, complete the missions alerts to get epic I don't want to do this, guys. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, but yeah. I was just going to breathe it in because, yeah, humans are supposed to breathe that in as well. Epic people were saying that it's pretty easy to get epic tiers of these amazing looking heroes. These heroes look fantastic. Hopefully I'm putting them behind me in a better font or better close up. Man, the soldier I have to have, the outlander I have to have. Although I really hope this outlander has something that makes him usable. Um, I, I think the outlander is woefully unprepared or not balanced correctly comparatively to the other classes. Like the fact that the soldier gets three grenades that come back within a good time frame, but the outlander can hold three charges of a teddy bear that you can go the entire game without finding a charge and or why do you need to find it? Shouldn't it just regenerate after a portion of time? Anyways, I think that's a bit bonkers. Um, really hope the Outlander has some sort of gimmick that allows him to get his fragment back faster. His charge, fragment, whatever. Anywho, introducing new scavenger heroes. Um, several new ones, new never before seen perks. Oh shit, okay. Um, a radar soldier. Um, close range combatant with shockwave and shotgun perks. Oh cool, huh, okay. 
Mm. <laughs> mm. Gunblazer Outlander. Pistol packing Outlander adept at scouring up ammo. Okay. Oh, I was really hoping that... You know, wouldn't that make sense? <laughs> like him being a salvager, him having like utility to his big teddy, his, his construction. I don't know. Mechanist Constructor. Use the base to supercharge traps. That's really cool. <laughs> um, and lastly... Um, is there a spider? What the fuck, man? I'm getting real antsy now. Energy Thief Ninja. Weird. Um, it generates energy by striking foes in melee. Oh, that's real good. <laughs> that's really good. That means it can sprint almost forever. That is amazing. Within reason, of course. All the new heroes are available in the scavenger loot packs, way cool. And of course, here are the new weapons. The weapons look amazing, specifically for me, the shotgun looks just amazing because I need a shotgun. <laughs> but also, um, I really like the spear, although I really hope the spear is a fast hitting weapon. Um, I was super let down by the power drill, whatever, the previous event. Um, that spear, like, swung really slowly and didn't really do a lot of damage, just knocked people back a little bit. I really hope this one packs a punch. But yes, shotgun, bazooka, and the spear, I want them all. I will probably get everything but that, but still, I want them. Um, nine new weapons introducing the scavenger sets. Cool, 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 we got some new... Defenders, uh, cool. <laughs> Who cares? But the defenders, I don't think. Battle Royale, some new additions to that. Players can now grab pickups through open windows and other openings. Okay, so better, like, uh, texture meshes. Cool. Tweaks that slot inventory loot better. Okay, yeah, so nothing crazy, just a bunch of, like, fixes that were kind of broken, it seems. Major known issues. There is a chance that the player spawns in a zone with a with no pickaxe. Oh, that'd be pretty bad. <laughs> Husks sometimes spawn in unrelatable day. Yeah, so just a bunch of other patch notes that are fixed now. Um, gameplay, just a bunch of different choices, but for the most part, I, like, <laughs> um, these are all there, if you guys want to read them, I hate to put that on you, but to me, like, that's, that's not what this was really to do, is to cover that, it was to mostly cover all the, the characters being fantastic, but yes, there's a ton of new uh, UI changes that I'm sure we'll all see when we're getting in-game, and that will be the next video, guys, is us actually in the Horde Bash, I want to say Horde Base so much, <laughs> I don't know why, anyways, thank you guys so much for giving me a second of your time, hopefully I was able to show you guys some of this gameplay in the background, because I'm going to be playing tomorrow and hopefully I can just edit this the same day. Mah, things. Hopefully I see you guys in Fortnite getting these amazing looking characters. I know Battle Rush was a fun, like a fun game mode and still very much is for a lot of people. But this is my bread and butter. This is where I love to hunt. Some people hunt achievements. I like hunting legendary gear in games. Especially when gear looks this cool. It's really, really hard not to try to get it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan Andor Frost. Subscribe button above me. Two videos to my right. And bye, guys.